Hello, my name is Manol Kotecha. I have a great passion for cooking. So today we're going to be making some delicious dishes. Let's hope we can all enjoy cooking together. Welcome to Casserole. Today we're going to prepare some vegetarian dishes. We're going to start first with spicy French toast. We're made with wholemeal bread. Okay, so for this, we need some soji, which is semolina, low fat yogurt, chopped onions, coriander, okay, and some bell peppers chopped finely, garlic, chilies, and some spices, the Indian spices, turmeric. Coriander powder, chili powder, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and salt. Okay. We're going to start by mixing the soji, the semolina. Measurement is the same, so whichever bowl you take, the same amount you take of yogurt. If it becomes a little thick, it's not a problem, you just add a little water. Okay, let's just mix that together. At the moment, it's a nice consistency, as you can see. There isn't a need to add any water at this stage. Okay. Once that is mixed, you can then add some onions, finely chopped. Some coriander, some bell peppers. Bell peppers give us it a nice colour as well, and a little bit of a crunch too. Some chopped garlic. It already smells lovely and fresh. So French toast is usually made with eggs, which as I only do vegetarian classes, we're going to, that's why we've used soji semolina. To this, you add salt to your taste. This is also healthy as it is a protein as well. With turmeric. Mix. The turmeric gives it the yellow little bit of a hint colour. 
to make it look like egg. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, so this is, we now have the paste ready. Already you can see it's, it's starting to thicken up, but all you need to do is just add a little drop of water. Not too much, you can add as we go along. Okay. If you want you can add other vegetables as well maybe mushrooms and any other vegetables you can add fresh tomatoes too another way of uh, introducing vegetables to children without them knowing okay so we're going to bread. wholemeal bread Basically, we just we only cover on one side, as you will see shortly when we put on the pan. As you see, we don't need to add any, any form of butter or margarine, nothing. So it's healthy. Okay, now let's go over onto the cooker. So now I'm going to show you how to cook these. Okay, let's put this gas on. Okay, just wait it. So let's the pan is heated now. I'm going to use a little bit of spray oil. And place bread on the opposite side. So whilst that side is cooking, we then spread the other side. So whilst we've spread this one, the other side should be ready to turn. See that? It's good. In between, we can just add a bit of spray to the other side. To give you the healthy option. This is very good for breakfast. It can also be served as a snack. And it can also be served in parties. Uh, you can make them into smaller pieces and, and serve as a canopy as well. Okay. These are best served hot. With some coriander chutney maybe. And it's a lovely breakfast dish, so that can be then served with some ketchup. Okay, there we are. It's ready. 
And as it's non-stick, you don't need too much oil. Just a little. Okay, now let's take this over for breakfast. You can serve in triangles. Okay. And as you can see, it also looks lovely. There we are. This is for the breakfast. Now I'm going to show you how we can also present it for a party or a snack. Okay, so for this, we will cut them straight rather than triangles. Great finger food as well. Okay. So you continue cutting them into squares. Okay. Let me get some chopsticks. And simply place these into. So now we've got the veggie French toast ready. We are going to take a short break and after the break we will make a juice. Welcome back to casserole. We are now going to make the green bitter juice. For this, we need an apple. We need some celery, some bitter gourd, some ginger, and some cucumbers. Okay, so let's slice the apples. It's a great cleanser. It's great for the skin as well. This juice also lowers um, blood sugar as well. And it's an energy booster. So this is the bitter gond, which we're going to then cut as well.
Okay, some ginger. Okay, so we have some fresh green apples, some celery, some bitter gond, some ginger, and some cucumber, also known as bitter melon. Here's our healthy green drink. Again, I will repeat the ingredients. We have some green apples, bitter melon, celery, and cucumber. We're now ready to serve with our 